business leader and a buyer of HR services and HR products. What's your, how will you define the evolution of the HR uh, services and the HR products space in India? Okay. Uh, if you look at it, let's start from the time that uh, we, have, we had gone independent, you know. Uh, from 1947 till the late 80s, right? we didn't have anything called HR per se. Uh, it was more transactional. Uh, it was uh, more industrial relations oriented, right? So the service which had grown was the service of the advocates firm because there used to be a lot of disputes and you had to ensure that the disputes were really resolved, right? Uh, then as corporate India started growing, the need for talent started growing up. So then you had what are known as professional recruitment firms came up. So you had boutique firms that came in, you had executive search firms that came in. And when India started globalizing, uh, you had named the who is the who of the executive search firm, they set up a uh, shop in India because talent started going global. You had Indian talent growing across the world, you had global talent coming down to India. Right? And uh, with the globalization started advent of new HR practices. Uh, talent became much more discerning uh, and therefore the need to connect became very heavy. Therefore, if you look at it, professional communication firms started coming in. Chief executives and senior people started coming on the media in a very big way to shape opinions. Uh, and then what came up was professional grooming consultants. It's a very big thing today. Therefore, you teach people of how to appear uh, in a media, how to talk, how to manage uh, journalists and uh, how we ensure that your brand is well communicated. Right? So that's uh, another era of uh, professional firms uh, that came in. Uh, then they, then uh, multinationals also brought with them uh, HR outsourcing firms, uh, like the complete back end of HR, uh, be it payroll or be it recruitment back end management or be it data transaction with respect to engagement, etc. So you had firms that uh, came up in that area. So you have got Hewitt, you have got People Strong, you have got uh, Deloitte, KPMG, all of them had consulting uh, from a business point of view, consulting from a strategy point of view, and consulting from an HR point of view, with back-end services being fully provided for. Yeah. Uh, then as things became much more professional, uh, you have got uh, assessment firms that came in, because you had to find out apart from a work situation, how do I independently look at capability of my people? So the so-called big consulting firms started getting into people inciting and you got professional firms like SHL, uh, you have got Hewitt or you have got uh, Mercer. Uh, they came in and they started providing much more specialized uh, services. Uh, then uh, came engagement, right? So. Of late, engagement is uh, is a big thing. So you've got bodies like the Gallup, you've got bodies like Blessing and White, you've got bodies like Tao Spirin, uh, you have got uh, then existing forms like the Hewitt uh, and others started getting into this employee engagement, this thing. So that's again a big professional body which has uh, really grown up, right? Uh, in the communication phase, the need to really communicate with your employees on different phase. You've got the print space, you've got the digital space, you've got the social media space. So you've got firms which have really started coming up, which provides consulting services on how do I create an internal Facebook? Uh, how do I ensure that my house journal is very relevant, uh, it connects with the people, and the messaging is very apt and appropriate. Right? And then the, the digital space, which has grown in a very big way, uh, you'll find that every organization has a social media strategy today put in place. And you have got social media consulting as a very big thing which is happening. Uh, or you take your own firm, uh, like in terms of ensuring messaging at an HR space uh, really happens well. So people matters, right? Your firm. Right? You, you ensure that the various communication which is required is communicated effectively so that the target audience is able to really get a reach of that. So you'll find that uh, 50 to 60 percent of the work which was not done in the past is now being done. Right? But what India probably has not developed is if you take US or you take Europe or you take India, there you'll find that on every subject matter 
there is seven to eight consultants because organizations do very little work in house. 80 to 90 percent of the work is done uh, through professional bodies and the HR resource is more as a contact point. Right? Therefore, I do not know what will be the level of engagement and connect uh, which happens with on the people side over there. Uh, probably it is more regulated. Uh, probably you need to justify everything that you do. But if you look at the Indian uh, environment, uh, people uh, want to relate to each other very well. The social side is given a greater importance. Therefore, the extent of outsourcing, which is in India, is not so very high. And probably the level of specialization is also not gone up because India still looks for value for money. And what does not connect, we do not really do. Mm -hmm.